Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I am here in the DevNet Zone with my friend, Brian. My name is Brian Byrne. I'm a technical solutions architect in Cisco's global enterprise segment, supporting our enterprise networks portfolio. Brian, what does network programmability mean to you? It's helping my customers uh, change the way that they uh, service and deploy their network. So as they need to turn up services, the idea is being able to leverage tool sets, but ensure that those services are turned up error free and in a manner that allows them to support the network moving forward. How does DevNet content help customers and partners do that? Well, so I'm going to use myself as an example. And I come from a traditional service provider background. I had about 300,000 devices that I was responsible for wow. prior to coming to Cisco. And, but I don't have a programming background. I joke with people, I have a psychology degree. And the idea behind that though is that I had to learn how to do this from some places. My customers were making the transition, so did I. And the way that I did that was actually going out and going through the learning labs and the learning tracks on developer.cisco.com and truly got me up to speed very quickly so I could help my customers with this journey. The website is great. You know what's also great? The DevNet Zone. So now that you've been to the DevNet Zone, you can well, you can get an opportunity to talk with your peers that are at all levels of the journey to help understand where network program programmability is going, where network automation is going, but spend time actually just talking to people that are kind of in the same place that you are, understanding where this is going. I hearken this back to kind of the original idea of, of what networkers was, was bringing people together of a likewise mentality or likewise train of thought to try and understand just what is this whole kind of industry and community coming towards, and the DevNet Zone is where you do that at. Thanks so much for being here, and can I ask you, which one's your favorite Cisco Live? My favorite Cisco Live is Cisco Live Melbourne. Mine too. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.